Hi there, Release Fight here. So I'm going to talk you through how to beat Tavares and Hyperius, the boss fight in Pelican Down. It comes part way through. You're around about 20, 21% of the way through Halo Infinite. It's a tough one, and I definitely recommend getting the drop wall up to the first two upgrades in the very least. You'll need some Spartan cores. The good news is there's five on this little island and you can check out the video linked above. Now this guide is on legendary difficulty so it should help you finish it off no matter what difficulty setting you go for. And essentially you want to creep underneath Tavares on the right hand side here and then underneath where he fires down at you, you should find this mounted gun jump on the top of the back and throw out one of the shields and then take out any of the enemies that are kind of in this area that are going to cause you trouble when Hyperius arrives. Now you can see him in the bottom left hand corner so you know when to switch over as soon as he gets close and you're looking to aim for him on the back of his wheels thing chariot business that he's kind of riding that he shoots from and ideally you want to take him out before he manages to turn and look at you but if you don't the first time jump off hide behind the wall that you can see in the far left hand corner and then jump back on to be able to finish him off it might take you a few tries but you should be able to do it with this method eventually and then you definitely want to take out as many of these enemies as possible because they'll cause you trouble later on especially the one in the distance there with the grenade launcher it's also worthwhile just spending a bit of time circling around this area just to finish them off because they will take pot shots at you when you try to take out Tavares so the more of these that are down the easier it is going to be so then once you've taken out Hyperius and taken out a number of the grunts that are around the area circle back on around and what you're aiming for is the down ship in the distance there. Now again, there's a few more enemies that you can take out in this area and it's definitely worth just spending some time circling around, finishing them off. They're relatively easy, but if you get into a situation with Tavares when you've got them to shoot at you and Tavares shooting at you, it just makes it way, way more difficult. And then it's time to take on Tavares and what you're looking for is the Pulse Carbine or one of the plasma weapons which should melt through the shield super quickly. Once you've taken down the shield, ordinarily he tends to run away. If he doesn't, take a few shots at him and he'll eventually do a runner. Now sometimes he runs up onto the platforms that you can see in the far right hand corner, but what you want him to do is actually run up inside the back of this plane. So you might have to do this a couple of times until he goes in there, but you definitely want him in there because he's way easier to fight in close confines and you'll have the doorways as choke points to be able to move in and out of. Once you get up there, he should still be up there, but sometimes he isn't, and you can lure him back up there by heading out, taking pot shots at him, and going back on inside. And then once he's actually in here, he's probably going to have his shield back up to full, so you can then go back to the pulse carbine and take some more shots at him to bring him down to size. However, if you run out of pulse carbine, then you can move on to the M41 and just get yourself in a good position by the doors. Aim for his feet and that'll do a huge amount of damage. You can see two has taken out most of his shield now. And then the third one will actually do a huge chunk of damage. I think I had one more shot left, but instead I changed over to the Hydra, which also does a lot of damage. And at this stage, you just want to take him down as fast as possible and you want to bring up a wall to be able to give yourself a bit more breathing room to get the rest of your shots off. Now, anytime you see a part of the wall breaking apart, move over to the side and give yourself a bit of breathing room. And then it's a good idea to throw out a few of your grenades if you've got them as well, just to take out the rest of its health. But by this stage, if you've got the mechanism down pat, then you should be able to finish him off. And that is how to beat Tavares and Hyperius in Halo Infinite. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop a like, subscribe with the link on the left hand side, and you can see more of my guide videos for Halo Infinite with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.